Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is e-beam sterilization. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. Make sure you subscribe to get all the good content. Check out the status bar below for our agenda and stick around to the end for our bonus questions. Our topic, e-beam sterilization, is covered by 1345 section 7.5.7. .7. E-beam sterilization in five words. Targeted, in-process, medical device sterilization. E-beam sterilization is another form of radiation sterilization. The introduction of E-beam expanded the use of radiation sterilization throughout the medical device industry. The E-beam equipment itself is integrated directly into the manufacturing process right after the product is packaged. The packaged product is moved along a conveyor belt into a scanning area. Sometimes this may be a scanning chamber. When the product gets to the scanning area, it is then hit by E-beam or a beam of electrons. The E-beam sterilization equipment can generate a continuous or a pulsating beam. This is different than the traditional radiation sterilization process, which requires a source, commonly cobalt-60. Again, the corresponding ISO standard here for gamma radiation is 11137. How do I know it's working? Well, first, I use E-beam sterilization when it is appropriate for my medical device. Second, my E-beam sterilization process, it is validated. Third, I have all of the support processes in place, dose audits, dose mapping, maximum dose, for my E-beam sterilization process. And then finally, my E-beam sterilization process is revalidated according to an established frequency. How do I know it's not working? Well, first, my E-beam sterilization process, it damages my product. Second, the E-beam sterilization process, it's not validated. Third, my E-beam sterilization process does not have all the corresponding support systems in place. Dose audits, dose mapping, maximum dose. And then finally, my E-beam process is not revalidated on a frequency as required by the ISO standards. And now for our three bonus questions. Do we have any products that go through E-beam sterilization? If yes, can I get a list of those products? Second, do we have any E-beam sterilization on site within our manufacturing facilities? If yes, please let me know which sites. And then finally, who manages the support programs for our E-beam sterilization processes? Who manages the dose audit program? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.